Hi friends, it's Mike, that helpful dad, and today we're taking a deep dive into the Amazon Prime Video world. We're going to talk about what Prime Video is. We're going to talk about whether you can watch, how to watch movies, TV shows, what TV shows are available, what channels are available, how do you customize it, what are some of the features, how, how can you watch it. If you don't know much about Amazon Prime Video, or even if you know a little bit and you want to know more, this video could help you. And here I'm specifically talking to people, um, maybe, maybe, maybe you're over 40 like myself, and you're really not used to you know, watching online TV, this video could be of great use to you. But if you're younger and you want to learn more about Prime Video, um, I encourage you to watch. And if you uh, recognize some things that I don't know, because I don't know everything, I'm just an average Joe just like most people, please, by all means, put your updates in the comments section so we can all learn together. But I've had Amazon Prime, uh, gosh, for over a decade now. And you know, Prime Video is one of those features that's included free as part of your Prime membership. And if you're not using Prime Prime Video, you're missing out on a lot of, of great content that's available to you for free. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So I'm That Helpful Dad here on YouTube. We make lots of videos on cord cutting. They're just practical solutions to just different tips that uh, families face today. I've also got a website, thathelpfuldad.com, where we give practical solutions to real-life problems. I encourage you to check it out. You can see some of the things that we do write about here. If those are of interest to you, um, maybe these, um, we'd encourage you to visit the uh, website. Website. But for now, let's talk about Amazon Prime Video. So again, this is a free service. It's part of your Amazon Prime membership. You already have it. So how do you access it? Well, you can either go to the computer like I'm on right now and go to Amazon. Just go to the Amazon website and then go to Prime Video, which is how I got to this page here. And you could watch from here or you could go to one of your um, devices. If you want to watch it on your TV or your phone, what you can do is you go where it says Getting Started and you go to where it says connect your devices and then you can see all the ways that you can watch it so if you have the fire sticks or the fire tv cube or something you can watch it from there it's already going to be preloaded on there it's it's my preferred way of watching it we've got a fire stick in all of our tvs and that's the primary way we watch all of our tv even our our streaming apps uh, that because we don't have cable tv anymore we've got everything online because the fire stick allows you to do that so you can watch prime video that way as well too or if you have another media player like a Roku or an Apple TV, you could do that. If you have a smart TV, you could download the app, the uh, Amazon Prime Video app, and you could, from your app store, and you could watch it that way. Various game consoles would allow you to do it, or the Fire tablets, or other tablets. So, I mean, there's a variety of ways that you can access it. It's just an app that you download. If you don't have the Fire Stick, where it's already at, you can, again, you can download the app. So that's how you do it. And the question is then what's available? So you've got a wide variety of, of, of really three types of content. You've got Amazon original content. You've got TV shows, which could be Amazon or other. You've got movies. And then, of course, various kids shows. So let's talk about the movies. Most people would want to watch movies online. So there are various movies that you can either – that are included with Amazon Prime, okay? And the way you can identify them – is it will say Prime next to it. And if you click on one of these, you see where it says Prime? You can watch it now, or you can watch a trailer, and there's no charge for any of it. And so there's tons and tons of movies. I mean, you can go through this yourself and see. And they're um, sorted out either by different categories, popular movies, or recently added, or family, kids movies, things of that nature. And again, if you're on a computer, you hover over it and you can see it right there. But there's no charge for any of this. Now, if you want to watch a movie that is not included with Prime, Prime can be the way for you to be able to... Um, access it. So instead of getting it through your cable TV or through some other device, uh, you would be able to get it this way. So let's say you wanted to watch Green Book. Green Book gives you the option to rent or buy it. And if you buy it, it's part of your Amazon world for as long as you're an Amazon member. So you own it and it's always there to watch, right? So um, then you'd be able to just watch it on whatever device that you're on right there. So you can rent or buy new release movies. And there's also tons of other movies, older movies that are available right there. So if you wanted to watch um, the old Justice League, uh, if this is a way that you could either watch it uh, with HBO, which you could add to your service. Um, you could add premium channels to your Prime service because it can be like a, an a la carte way to customize all of your online TV. Or you could potentially just buy the movie as well too. So you don't necessarily have to have a, add HBO if you didn't want to do that. So 
you can add channels to your experience. So if you wanted to watch Game of Thrones, which is coming up again right now, you could add the Game of Thrones or you could add HBO as a channel to your Amazon Prime package and then you could binge watch for as long as you want. I think it's like $15 a month to have HBO. Uh, you can get all these shows here as well too. Uh, it's added to your Amazon Prime video package and then if you want to keep it, you keep it and you keep paying $15 a month and if you don't, you can cancel it you cancel that HBO subscription, but you still keep the regular Amazon Prime, and you don't keep getting charged for HBO. So you're never locked in. So you can see all the different channels that you can kind of add to your list right here. They have various prices that are available for you. And again, if you're interested in one, you just click on it, and then it will tell you what's available and kind of how it works. So um, this case, uh, all access gives you for CBS gives you a seven-day trial and $5.99 a month after that. So that's the movie portion of it. Now let's go to the TV shows. So in terms of the TV shows that are available right there, you can see they've got a various um, list of, of things that are, are included for you here under recommended TV. And then they have the Amazon Prime original series. So these are series specifically made by Amazon that are only available on Amazon Prime TV. And there's actually quite a number of good shows that are on here. Um, the Jack Ryan show is very good. The Miss Maisel show, I, although I haven't seen it, it's, I, it's very popular. And I believe it's won a couple Emmys. Um, what else are some good ones here I wanted to point out? The Man in the High Castle. We've been watching that one. There's multiple seasons that are included right there. I think uh, three seasons. Um, Bosch is an excellent one. We're getting ready for, I think, season four or five is coming up right now. Maybe, maybe even season six. Sneaky Pete was also another good one as well, too. So these are all available for you, all for free, as part of Amazon Prime TV. And then, of course, there are other... Um, Things that are like there's the old Sopranos shows is there. Um, so things that not necessarily are Amazon shows, you also get as part of your Amazon Prime TV package. And then um, there's also various, if you want to sort just by the kids networks, you can certainly do that. I mean, there's just so much here, way more than we can cover in one video. But I encourage you, if you are a Prime member, take a look at this. You're getting this now. Uh, for free. Um, and so you can save things to your watch list so you can remind yourself to watch them later and then when you're ready to watch them um, you can either buy it if it's not available for you or if it's already a prime show you can uh, either add that channel or just watch it immediately. So it's there for you. Um, you can look at your library of shows that you may have watched in the past that you've purchased or that you uh, wanted to save. It's, it's all there for you. So the bottom line really is this. If you don't have Amazon Prime yet, but you're thinking about getting it, Prime Video is a free service for you as part of your Amazon Prime membership. And also, one of the things that's really cool about watching TV on the Prime Video is you have something called X-Ray, which allows you to get more information about the show that you're watching. So if you want to remember, oh, the actor was in a different show, or what's that music that's playing, or you just want trivia about the content, whatever your device you're watching on, whether that be your TV, your iPad, or what have you, you can access all this bonus content just by pushing up on your Amazon Fire TV remote, the little uh, wheel that's there, and then you can access information about the cast, the characters and get their background story, bonus content if it's available, music information, as well as various trivia. So this is all part of the Amazon Prime video package. And if you're not using it, you're really missing out. So those are the things that I really love about Prime Video. If there's something I missed that you really like, please by all means point it out to me so that we can all learn together. Thanks for watching and have a great day.